Why your car engine overheats and how to fix it. Imagine this. You're cruising down the road and suddenly you see that dreaded temperature gauge in your car creeping into the red zone. The engine starts to groan, smoke rises, and panic sets in. It's overheating, but why? What went wrong and how do you fix it before the damage is irreversible? It's not just inconvenient, it could mean the difference between a minor repair and a blown engine. Today, we'll uncover the hidden reasons behind overheating and give you the tools to stop it for good. What is engine overheating? Overheating occurs when your car's engine temperature rises above the normal operating range, usually between 195 degrees Fahrenheit to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. If your engine gets too hot hot, it can cause severe damage to critical parts like the head gasket, pistons, and even the engine block itself. Most modern vehicles are equipped with sensors to warn you before serious damage occurs. However, ignoring these early warnings can lead to a full engine seizure, requiring thousands in repairs. How can you tell if your car is overheating? So how do you know if your car's engine is overheating? The most obvious sign is your dashboard temperature gauge. If the needle is in the red zone, you've got a problem. Other signs include steam or smoke coming from under the hood, strange smells, and a sudden loss of power while driving. Sometimes the car may even start misfiring or stalling unexpectedly. A sweet smell might indicate coolant leaks, while a burning odor could mean oil or electrical issues. Don't ignore the small signs like a temperature gauge that's a little higher than normal. Catching the issue early can save you from a complete engine meltdown. A little attention today can prevent a big problem tomorrow. It's all about knowing your vehicle's behavior and acting fast. Reason number one, low coolant levels. The first major cause of overheating is low coolant levels. Coolant, also known as antifreeze, circulates through the engine to absorb and dissipate heat. Without enough coolant, your engine can quickly overheat. Low coolant often points to a leak somewhere in the system, maybe a cracked hose or a worn out gasket. Running your engine dry can cause irreversible internal damage, so don't take this lightly. If you're low on coolant, your radiator won't be able to do its job effectively. Make sure to regularly check your coolant levels and top them off with the correct coolant and water mixture, as specified by your car's manual. It's also wise to carry an extra bottle of coolant in your trunk for emergencies. A few minutes of precaution can save you from hours on the roadside. Reason number two, faulty thermostat. The thermostat controls the flow of coolant to the engine. If it gets stuck in the closed position, Coolant can't flow properly, causing your engine to overheat. A faulty thermostat is often the culprit behind many overheating issues. It's a small part, but it plays a massive role in regulating engine temperature. When it fails, your entire cooling system can become ineffective almost instantly. Replacing a faulty thermostat is usually a straightforward fix, but it's essential to get it checked out before it causes further damage to your engine. Neglecting this can lead to warped cylinder heads or engine misfiring. A quick diagnostic at a repair shop can confirm if your thermostat is the issue. Reason number three, broken radiator fan. Your car's radiator fan helps cool the radiator by blowing air through it when your car isn't moving fast enough. If the fan fails, your engine may overheat even when you're driving at higher speeds. It's especially important during idle or slow traffic when natural airflow isn't enough. If you notice your fan isn't kicking in, it needs attention fast. The problem could be a broken fan motor, a blown fuse, or a malfunctioning temperature sensor. Diagnosing and fixing this issue early can prevent your engine from reaching dangerously high temperatures. In many cases, the fix is simple and affordable, especially if it's just a fuse. Ignoring a broken fan, however, can quickly snowball into engine failure. Reason number four, leaky radiator. A leaky radiator is one of the most common causes of overheating. If coolant is leaking from your radiator, the system can't maintain the right level of coolant, leading to an overheating engine. Leaks might be obvious with puddles under your car, or they could be slow and internal, gradually reducing pressure and efficiency. Leaks are sometimes small and hard to spot. If you notice puddles of coolant under your car, it's time to get the radiator inspected for cracks or holes before the problem worsens. A UV dye coolant test can help identify hidden leaks. Sealing small leaks early can prevent the need for a full radiator replacement. Reason number five, clogged radiator. 
Over time, dirt, debris, and mineral deposits can build up inside the radiator, blocking coolant flow. This prevents the coolant from efficiently absorbing heat from the engine, leading to overheating. If your coolant looks brown or sludgy, it's a clear sign your radiator may be clogged. Flushing the radiator can often fix the issue, but if the clogging is severe, you may need to replace the radiator entirely. Regular coolant flushes every two to three years can keep your radiator clean and functioning properly. Don't wait until the clog creates a chain reaction of failure. Reason number six, broken water pump. The water pump circulates coolant through the engine. If the pump fails, coolant can't circulate properly and your engine can overheat quickly. Without this constant flow, hot spots develop and build pressure fast, leading to blown hoses or a cracked block. Water pump failure can be caused by a broken belt, worn out bearings, or corrosion. If you hear a whining sound from your engine or notice coolant leaking from the pump, it's time for a replacement. Most pumps last around 60,000 to 90,000 miles, so schedule inspections regularly. Replacing it before it fails is always cheaper than replacing your engine. Reason number seven, faulty radiator cap. The radiator cap might be small, but it plays a critical role in maintaining pressure in the cooling system. If it's damaged or doesn't seal properly, coolant can boil over, causing your engine to overheat. A failing cap often results in bubbles in the coolant overflow tank or inconsistent heating. Don't overlook the radiator cap. A simple fix could prevent bigger issues down the line. Regularly check the cap to make sure it's functioning properly. They're inexpensive to replace and easy to test. If you're unsure, most auto parts stores will test it for free. Reason number eight, poor engine maintenance. Neglecting regular engine maintenance can lead to overheating. Old dirty oil, clogged air filters, or worn out spark plugs can all cause your engine to work harder than necessary, resulting in excessive heat buildup. Even minor maintenance lapses can cause major performance issues over time. By staying on top of routine maintenance, including oil changes, air filter replacements, and spark plug checks, you can avoid the frustration of an overheating engine. Think of it like taking care of your own health. Regular checkups keep the engine running clean, cool, and strong. How to fix an overheating engine. So what should you do if your engine is already overheating? Don't panic, but don't keep driving either. Acting fast can be the difference between a cheap fix and a complete engine replacement. Number one, pull over safely. If you see your temperature gauge in the red zone, pull over immediately to a safe spot. Turn off the engine and let it cool down for at least 30 minutes. Once the engine has cooled, check for any obvious issues, such as coolant leaks. Never open the radiator cap when the engine is hot. It can release scalding steam and burn you. Use extreme caution and wait until it's safe. Number two, check coolant levels. While the engine cools, check the coolant level. If it's low, top it off, but make sure the engine is cool before opening the coolant cap to avoid burns. Keep pre-mixed coolant in your trunk for emergencies. If it runs dry again quickly, there's likely a leak or deeper issue. Number three, get professional help. Even if you manage to temporarily fix the issue, it's always best to take your car to a mechanic for a full inspection. Overheating can cause long-term damage to your engine, so don't wait for the problem to escalate. A diagnostic check will identify the root cause and save you from guessing. Peace of mind is worth the trip to the shop. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Got any car repair stories or tips? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Stay cool, stay safe, and remember, your engine's life depends on what you do today. See you in the next video.